my today's topic is to explain to explain as the source follower circuit of field effect transistor the circuit is called source follower because the output is taken output is taken to the resistance which is connected to the source vdd is the supply used for the biasing R and R to other register used for the bias. They are the biasing registers. Input is taken in. The input is uh, input signal is taken in through the capacitor and applied to the gate. This is port one and one, and uh, V one is the input signal. And here the register R S is connected to the source. And output output is taken across the R S, and output receives output signal, which is the amplified signal. You know the signal is taken out to the capacitor. This circuit is also called sometimes as a common twin circuits. The equivalent diagram of the above circuit is this: the gate terminal, This is the current source GM into VGS. GM is mutual conductance. Mutual conductance into VGS becomes the drain current. That the drain and source, and at the source there is R S. Output is taken across R S, and here there is a drain drain resistor, which is the Internal resistance of the RFT at the train side. Two two port is the the two and two port across which the output is taken. V not. So V not is here between G S G and S. The voltage is V G S. And here. This terminal is connected to two. Now what we do? We just uh, fold. We just fold this uh, this part, and uh, by folding this part and current generator as well. Then the. Then the whole become reversed. Like uh, drain comes down and source goes to up because it is folded now. So this is arrow upward now, not downward. GM into VGS because it is folded, so that's why none of the arrow is in up direction. The source is up, the the train is down now. This RD now look the RD and uh, RS they are in parallel, and output is taken across, you know, RS. Because uh, this, th it was grounded here also, so that's why you, you look at the, uh, to the diagram, R D and R S in parallel.
Now by Ohm's law, the voltage is equal to the current into the resistance. And here the two resistors RD and RS in parallel. So the parallel combination becomes RD into RS upon RD plus RS. And what is the current? Current is GM into VGS. This one, this one is the current. So this becomes the output voltage V0. And here VI equals to VGS plus V0, sum of the two. VI is VGS plus V0. And VGS now it is VI minus V0. VGS substituting here. And simplifying the expression. The algebraical simplification, nothing else. Open the bracket. Rearranging the terms. We notice taken as common. Here finding V not over VI. V not over VI is the gain. R is taken as common from the denominator. R cancels out. This is again a this is again A V. Gain of the source follower F A T. Because the value of the R is too high, greater than greater than greater than R S. So RS or RD becomes negligible, is small and may be neglected from the expression. So here the denominator is greater than the numerator. So AV always equals to a less than one. Is less than one. So there is uh, no voltage gain in case of source follower of field effect transistor. So it is not good circuit for amplify the voltage. But you know, there's a positive sign that when uh, the voltage gain remains, voltage gain, that is uh, the output remain in phase with the input. There is no phase reversal. This is just for you to compare this configuration for BJT of common collector configuration. That, that when you compare the two, you got some interesting facts. Common collector BJT, that is a meter follower circuit. You compare this circuit with that circuit.
Now, what is the input resistance of the source valve circuit? Now, you look the diagram. What is the, you know, here, input resistor? Input resistance is nothing, that's RS. Now, the problem is now, what, what about the output resistance? Output resistance of the circuit is found by making the independent signal source VI equals to VI equals to zero. So, and what was VI? VGS plus V naught. So for finding the output resistance, we are making V i equals to zero, and V g s becomes minus V naught. As current source was uh, GM into VGS, now it becomes, because VGS is equals to minus V0, the current source becomes minus GM into V0. So there is no input voltage. So here it is minus, G, minus GM into V0. So that's why now the arrow is shown the downward of the current generator because minus GM into V naught. So again this is a RD and uh, RS the output is here. Output is what? V naught and current and here the resistance is R0, voltage is V0, and current, you know, here it is I0. So what is uh, V0 in terms of I0 and R0 by Ohm's law? V0 is I0 into R0. And R0 is V0 over I0. Also, the V0 is current into resistance, and the resistance here, what the parallel RD and RS, the parallel combination, and current is what? The total current is there are two currents, I0 and GM V0, the sum of the two. Now simplifying this expression simply is very simple now to simplifying the expression, rearranging the terms and finding the value of R0 from here. Like what is R0 V0 over I0. V0 is taken as common
Let's cancel this out. So we know to wine it becomes GM into RD is greater than greater than 1. RD is greater than greater than R is using the approximations. So this becomes simply 1 upon gm. So this is the output resistance source follower FET and it is very small, output resistance is very small. The value of GM this is the range of the GM value. GM value is the range range between point zero zero one to point zero one mau. So you can just uh, you can found the value of R not from this. Now you do a simple exercise, okay?